Hello everyone, uh, this is Dr. Kishore Alapati. I'm a consultant colorectal surgeon uh, working out of Apollo Hospital's uh, Jubilee Hills branch in Hyderabad. So today, uh, briefly, we will talk about uh, or address the questions that arise uh, about cancers that are uh, uh, more frequently seen these days in the young adults. Uh, as a matter of fact, the rectal cancer is something that we have uh, noticed uh, uh, that there is an increased incidence of it in the young adult population. Um, and typically in males, we've been seeing this uh, within the age groups of 30s, as early as mid 30s and early 40s. Uh, so we'll go ahead and answer those questions. What is colorectal cancer? So colorectal cancer is a cancer that involves uh, uh, a malignant or a, typically a, a mass lesion uh, that involves the entire any part of the colon or the rectum. So colon and rectum measures on an average about four to five feet in any grown up individuals. And the last one to one and a half feet of the uh, large intestine is called the rectum. So any tumors that arise or the cancers that arise from colon or the rectum are called the colorectal cancers. How common are colorectal cancers in young adults? Um, colorectal cancer in young adults is something that we've started seeing uh, most recently, I'd say probably in the past five years or so. Uh, previously, colorectal cancers are typically addressed in patients after the fifth decade. So in their 50s, 60s or 70s is when we would be seeing these cancers. So that is why if you look at the recommendations, colonoscopy was being recommended starting from the 50th birthday. But now in the past five years, we've noticed that uh, males, young males in their mid to the late 30s or even the early 40s, um, if, if they have any complaints of uh, bleeding through the rectum or abdominal pain or weight loss or any, any of this, uh, we aggressively started uh, screening those patients. So. Uh, a, a colorectal cancer in young patients is becoming more and more uh, prominent these days. So how can young adults prevent colorectal cancer? Uh, the best way for prevention of colorectal cancer is undergoing through a screening test called a colonoscopy. Um, like I said before, uh, normally colonoscopy is a test that is recommended in patients or in, in, pop, in general population from age starting 50. If you had a family member less than age of 50 diagnosed with colonorectal cancers, then we usually ask you to get the first colonoscopy done 10 years before the age of diagnosis. So let's say my parent was diagnosed with colon cancer at 50. I am supposed to get a colonoscopy starting from age 40. And colonoscopy, like I said, is the most important investigation where we do the test. And if we do find a polyp, and if we're able to remove the polyp, we have potentially removed a, a cancer that would develop in that area. So screening colonoscopy is very, very important. How do we diagnose colorectal cancer? So uh, most important is the symptoms from the patient. Typically patients would, would come to us and say, you know, my appetite has decreased, I'm losing uh, weight. Occasionally I see blood in my stools. A um, lot of fatigue that happens and incidentally they go to their general physicians and a routine blood test show a significant drop in their blood counts. These are the general symptoms that we come across. But the best way to diagnose it is colonoscopy. Again, when we do this test of colonoscopy, we pass a camera through the entire length of the intestine and typically take a small piece out of that tumor and we look at it underneath the microscope. It is absolutely mandatory that we take a biopsy and confirm that it is indeed a cancer. And that is probably the best way to diagnose a colorectal cancer. What are the treatment options for colorectal cancer? So the treatment options for colorectal cancer picked up at an early enough stage. So especially for colon cancer, and let, I will talk about rectal cancer later, colon cancer stage one, stage two, stage three, Almost always surgery is the best standard treatment modality. And after the surgery is done, typically we look at the biopsy report and based on the biopsy report, we decide if those patients would require any further chemotherapy. And that is the classic treatment for colon cancer. If we were to talk about rectal cancer, which involves only the last foot or a foot and a half of the large intestine, before we even talk about surgery for rectal cancer, the first thing we need to do is staging of the rectal cancer. 
So in regards to staging of the rectal cancer, an MRI scan of the pelvis is absolutely mandatory. And based on the MRI scanning, if the rectal cancer is identified to be anything more than stage 2, all of those patients would require first a treatment of radiation, followed by a rest to the body, followed by surgery, and then after that we decide if they would require any further treatment modalities like further chemotherapy or so. So rectal cancer is a completely different protocol which would require a possibility of a radiation before surgery, followed by surgery, and then after surgery, based on the biopsy report, we decide if they would require any further chemotherapy. All these surgeries can be done not only as an open operation, as a laparoscopic operation and robotic operations. For rectal cancer, it is also important that the surgeons that does the, the surgery is, is very proficient and, and, uh, and a senior person because the chances of not needing a permanent colostomy is greater than 90% in most of these patients with rectal cancer. So when you seek an opinion in regards to surgery, make sure you, you get to the best place so that you don't have to carry a permanent bag of what we call a colostomy for the rest of your life. So thanks for listening to this. Uh, these are all the uh, points of discussion when we talk about colorectal cancer in uh, young adults. Um, it's very important that we diagnose early uh, if there is a rectal cancer, especially in the young adults, because we've noticed that the disease is a lot more aggressive when it happens at a younger age. So if there are problems with weight loss or loss of appetite or blood in stool, make sure you see your specialist, make sure you see your gastroenterologist or a colorectal surgeon, make sure you get a colonoscopy done and make sure that there is no tumor or no polyp that is growing within the intestine. If we do find one, don't get discouraged. There are plenty of advanced treatment modalities that are available. We've treated rectal cancers in as young as in the early 20s, uh, just got married patients also. So don't worry about it. It's not the end of life. There are plenty of treatment modalities available which would put your life back to normal. Once after the treatment is done, you would be able to get back to your normal routine activity, right? So stay healthy. Make sure you eat good fiber foods. Make sure you have plenty of water and keep yourself well hydrated. Try at best to avoid your junk foods that you consider on a regular basis. Keep your bowels going regularly. And if there is a problem, do not hesitate to get checked. And getting checked is the most important way or probably the best way you can avoid a colorectal cancer. Or even if you do have one, pick it up at an earlier stage so that we would get a complete treatment out of it. Have a good day.